the city line. With me, I have someone who, at just cursory glance, you may think, oh, pet of the week from the Humane Society. And yes, you have seen her beautiful face with a mask over it during our pet of the week, but she's got some things to talk about. So please join me in uh, welcoming Lindsay Heaney. She is our uh, communications manager for the uh, Humane Society of Tacoma Pierce County. And we're gonna talk about, yep, the Raise Your Paw online auction. Lindsay, it's great to have you for more than just a few minutes. Thanks, Amanda. It's great to be here again. You are more than welcome. So my dear, it is National Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. Um, I am always online looking at all of the forever pets that you need a forever home for. So who is at the shelter and what kind of dogs are we looking at right now? Well, the shelter has lots of dogs looking for their forever homes. Uh, in fact, we have a few dogs that have been with us for quite a while now. Uh, one of those dogs is a sweet three-year-old Labrador retriever named Punky. And Punky has actually been with us since early September, if you can believe that. <laughs> uh, we call her Spunky Punky. Uh, I just love her name. Uh, it really captures the essence of her personality. She's such a determined and courageous dog. And she would do really great uh, as a walking or even a hiking partner uh, for any Pacific Northwest adventurers out there. Uh, but we also have a dog who has been with us even longer, uh, which his name is Chumley. Uh, he is a five-year-old Chow Chow mix who has a legendary smile. Oh my goodness. When you see him, you just smile with him. Uh, he just wants to be friends with everyone. Uh, so we're hoping that he'll find a lifelong friend very soon. Hopefully he's been with us since August. Um, we just can't believe that, you know, these pups have been here for so long. Uh, so if anyone is interested in Punky or Chumley or any of the other many dogs that we have here at the shelter, uh, they can stop by to meet them in person from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week. Oh, I love that. And oh my gosh. Um, I've seen Chumley, and um, I would never pass up a lick from that blue tongue, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> yes. So you had an adoption event at the start of October to kick off this special month. How did that go? It went really well. Uh, we were able to offer 20% off all adoption fees, and that was from October 1st to the 3rd. And that was thanks to a grant from the ASPCA. Uh, we're very happy to report that over 60 animals found homes that weekend. It was just really great. And we're just so grateful to the ASPCA and Subaru for making this event possible every year. Um, it's a really uh, great thing uh, to offer to the community. Absolutely. And uh, yes, and a huge thank you to those partners that made it possible. That's not the only event the shelter is hosting this month. Let's talk about the Raise Your, this is my paw, Raise Your Paw Online Auction. Give me details. What is this? Yeah, so this is a really exciting fundraising event that we host every year. So it's going to be October 20th to the 29th. And it's called Raise Your Paw Online Auction. And it is just as it sounds. It's an auction where people can bid online. Uh, we have a variety of unique items and experiences for the community to bid on. Uh, it's a really important fundraiser for us every year, and it's also just a really great fun way for the community to get more involved. Uh, and our goal this year is to raise $30,000, and this will go directly towards the thousands of animals that come through our doors every year. So I am familiar with um, your in-person events, but tell us how the online auction works exactly. Yeah, you know, so, um, you know, due to COVID and um, some other operational things, we have moved this to an online auction, which is really great because it's a really convenient process. And so you can bid right from your living room. It's super convenient. Uh, everyone can go to our website at thehumanesociety.org, and you'll be able to access that virtual auction space directly. Uh, you just simply browse through the various auction items. You can click through the ones you're interested in. Uh, to get more details and read more about it. Uh, when you do find something you're interested in, you go ahead and just bid on it right there uh, from your phone or from your desktop. 
Um, now, I will say sometimes it can get a bit competitive. <laughs> uh, so you'll have to keep a close eye on your bids um, before the auction closes at 7 p.m. on October 29th. So if you really want something, you can go back and try to outbid some others that might have come through last minute. That's your alarm. That's always my advice for people when they're like, how do you win online? I'm like, oh, I set my alarm. Um, and I, I, I do my initial bid and then I come back in the last five minutes. I don't watch in between because I get too nervous. because I'm so competitive, Lindsay. So, <laughs> so if I were to, well, first off, what kind of auction items are available to bid on? What are our appetites here? Ah, well, we have a lot. We have some that have actually come back uh, from previous years because they were so popular. Um, so a couple that are returning, um, we have the Chef's Wine and Dinner for two at a local Tacoma favorite, uh, El Gacho. I don't know if you're familiar with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a really great uh, spot to um, get some great food and a great dining experience. We also have a round of golf at the gorgeous Chambers Bay Golf Resort. That was a really popular one last year, so it's coming back. Uh, but thankfully, we have a lot of new ones as well this year. So we have a one night stay at the luxurious Frog Creek Treehouse. So you actually get to stay at one of their treehouse cabins. Um, it's a really great experience. A one of a kind piece of art from a local artist made from melted beeswax. It's a custom made piece, one of a kind, really unique. Uh, so that's nice to have this year. Um, but we also have different uh, experiences for people to um, bid on. So that's like a local date night experience that you can do, uh, get some nice food, go to maybe some theaters in Tacoma. There's just so many great ones. And to be honest with you, I think I'm even going to have to bid on some of these. <laughs> and I'm gonna set my alarm too. That, that says a lot because you're involved in the procurement and the and the selling of. And if you like your own items, that's all you need. Truly yes. it is. So um, any special items related to the shelter for people who want to bid on, who, who are just going, I want my money to go right into that shelter besides the fund to need? Oh, yes, yes. We have several of those. And actually, one of my favorites is something we call Petsagram. So this is where you actually get the chance to bid on your shelter taking over the shelter or your pet taking over the shelter's Instagram account. It's really neat. Yeah. Uh, so it's a chance for your pet to be Instagram famous for a day. Uh, and I just, I'm really excited about that one. That might be what I'm bidding on. <laughs> so, uh, but we also have other things like fund a need. So this is where you get the chance to actually fund a special pet in need. So uh, you could cover the cost of a shelter cat who might need amputation and rehabilitation, um, or even medical care to a puppy with parvovirus, uh, which is a very deadly um, and contagious disease. Uh, we also have things like our yeah, kennel sponsorships. Uh, so this is where a plaque uh, with your name um, and a dedication honoring a person or maybe a special pet in your life um, goes on our adoptable pet kennels. And then with that, you also get an update of the adopted animals who stayed in your sponsored kennel until they found their forever home. So it's um, that was a really cool option. Um, and last but not least, uh, this is also one of my favorites, is you get a GIF of your pet. So we actually create a GIF um, from a picture that you send us, a favorite picture that you have of your pet. Um, and then we'll send you a digital version of your pet that will last forever. Oh, OK, so my, my brain is spinning because <laughs> First, I was going to say, what a lovely gift to give someone of the Instagram pet in memoriam, but also a new puppy or somebody who, you know, um, uh, is missing their pet very, very much and maybe moved away um, and needs to see that pet. But then to have have my pet digitally done, it doesn't get any better than that. It, I mean, I have a blue healer and she's so much fun. Um, and I know lots of people, like for instance, one of my Instagram friends um, is Bunny who does the talking buttons. This would be a great thing for Alexis to bid on for Bunny. 
Yeah, oh, definitely, yes. It's uh, really a unique uh, piece of work and you know, you can share it all over your social media. You can text it to your friends and family. You can send it over email. Uh, you know, it's just, it's really great. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely probably gonna be putting in a few bids on that as well. <laughs> fight you for it how's that yes yes okay. sounds good <laughs> goes toward a good cause um i want to talk in this last two minutes here about your pantry um and um how that pantry has become um really important during covid when people were um not working were trying to feed themselves can you talk about that pantry and what that pantry serves and what it needs right now yeah, so that's our uh, pet food pantry, um, and that's open to the community who, um, you know, for pet owners who might not be able to provide food um, for their pets at this time. And so they're able to come in and grab, you know, a bag of food, either for their cat or their dog, um, and we're able to do that regularly for them. Um, and so we often take, um, you know, unopened food donations from the community, and it goes directly to that pet food pantry. Um, to be given to other members of the public who really need it. I love that because let me tell you something. Um, the people I know who love their pets like I love my pet, like it's my baby. Um, if I had to choose between food for myself or food for my pet, I would pick the pet. So it's good to know that I don't have to choose, that you have a pantry available. Um, give us the dates again one more time before we say goodbye for the Raise Your Paw online auction. Yeah, so that will be October 20th to the 29th. Perfect, and we've been showing the website where you can register and also set your alarm to make sure that you get all of the holiday gifts that you need, that the money goes for the best cause ever. Lindsay, thank you so much for all that you do for your team that we couldn't get on the Zoom, uh, for our pet of the week, which um, has just taken off in the two years that we've been doing it. I just thank you so much for your great heart and thank you for being here today. Oh, thank you, Amanda, I appreciate it. My pleasure.